So if I was pr to predict where we'll be in, in 10 years time, I think we'll be completely chemo free. I suspect we'll be treating patients frontline with a BCL2, a BTK, possibly with an antibody, almost across the board in younger and older patients. We'll use some kind of surrogate endpoint, such as MRD, to dictate whether we need additional therapy or not. Uh, the additional therapy may well be some kind of cellular therapy, perhaps CAR T cell, perhaps still allogeneic stem cell transplant. And in, in an older patient population, we'll use MRD probably as a stopping point. So I think we'll use a similar backbone of therapy. We'll use an MRD assessment, which will dictate whether we get additional therapy in young patients or in older patients, whether we continue treatment or stop. And then in the frail elderly patients, I suspect we'll just be using maybe just a BTK inhibitor, maybe as a single agent, maybe with an antibody because of the additional toxicity you get with these, other, with these other drugs. So I think we'll have shifted completely. I think age will become no longer an issue. I suspect biology will, biology will become less of an issue because we'll use response as our, our main biological endpoint, if you like. If patients respond, then who cares what the biology shows? Um, I suspect that's where we're going to go.